This is an update from the Occupy Illinois, Advanced Logistics Emergency Response Team, regarding Operation Rude Awakening. Since last winter's evictions, occupations nationwide have grown weary. We have not been organizing, we have not been networking, we have not been active. Due to our public infighting, we had turned people away without knowing. Many occupations stopped holding general assemblies altogether. We, had become paralyzed, and in effect, silenced through our unwillingness to compromise. Therein lies the problem. The future, does not belong, to the silent. Those with connections, to outside organizations, were sometimes, shunned. Attempts to reach out to them, seemed to anger the factions that were developing, within our diverse political spectrum. This was contrary to Occupy Wall Street's statement of autonomy and principles of solidarity. As a result, occupations began shrinking, dividing amongst themselves, and refusing to work together on our common goals. It was obvious to everyone that in this diminished capacity, the movement desperately needed help. When the alert was initialized, it was not because of co-option nor hijacking, but instead, it was due to lack of participation, lack of engagement, and inaction. On the part of, most, occupations. In short, you became divided, you became comfortable, and you became exclusive. During phase one of the ongoing operation, administrators were silenced. And if that was not vile enough, we gleefully endorsed a political candidate. As expected, this set off alarms, enraging occupiers, nationwide. Of course, we could not stop there, we changed our profile picture, we changed our cover photo, we even bragged about getting t-shirts made to support the candidate. In short, you became so outraged, that you posted your own links, you shared with friends, you re-established networks. But perhaps more importantly, you debated and discussed the balance between transparency and security culture. One thing is for certain, the once silent occupiers, have begun to find their voice once more, people who were sitting back watching, instead of getting involved, are now reacting. We have started to grow. We have begun to get louder. We are now much stronger. And, as a result, nearly half a million people, are watching this unfold. So, ask yourselves this question. What, is your one, demand? Make your voice heard. At the Occupy Illinois State Summit, on August the 9th, 2012, conference will be graciously hosted by Occupy Springfield, Illinois. Operation Rude Awakening is ongoing. Stay tuned for additional information, news, or instruction. We are Occupy Illinois. We are the 99%. We will be heard. End transmission.